Hey everyone, today we're diving into Keycloak, Okta, and JWT. These are three big names in authentication. Today, I'm going to explain each one, compare them, and help you decide what's best for your needs. Let's go. First up, we have Keycloak. It's an open source identity and access management tool. Think single sign-on, user federation, and social logins all in one. You can self-host it, customize it, and it supports protocols like Zero Auth and OpenID Connect. It's perfect if you want control and no licensing fees. Next up, we have Okta. It's a cloud-based enterprise-grade platform for identity management. It offers seamless single sign-in, multi-factor authentication, and tons of pre-built integration. It's plug-and-play but comes with a single subscription cost. It's ideal for businesses wanting minimal setup. Finally, we have JWT JSON Web Token. It's a compact, self-contained token for secure data exchange. It carries user info like an ID or role signed to ensure trust. No server storage needed, so it's super lightweight. And it's great for APIs and microservices, but you can handle user management yourself. So, how do they stack up? JWT is a token standard, not a full system, so it's best for simple stateless authentications and APIs. Keycloak is a robust free solution for teams with technical expertise who need customization. Okta shines for enterprises wanting a managed, user-friendly service with premium support. Check out this chart. JWT wins on simplicity, Keycloak on cost and flexibility, and Okta on ease and enterprise features. Choose based on your needs. DIY control, Keycloak. Quick setup, Okta. Basic API security, JWT. That's it guys, JWT for lightweight APIs, Keycloak for open source power, and Okta for enterprise ease. Which one's your pick? Drop a comment and subscribe for more tech breakdowns. See ya.